today's video, we're going to show off the best three Capitol Hall 4 attack strategies in the second ever raid weekend. What's going on boys? My name is Joe, welcome back to the show, and the second raid weekend is well underway. This past week, Paradox Reloaded was able to achieve Capitol Hall level 4. And with this new level, the Balloon Lagoon District was unlocked, along with the brand new Rocket Balloon and Skeleton Barrel options being added to our clan's army lineup. Wizard Valley was also upgraded to level 2, along with the Super Wizard and Spells gaining an additional level and more army training space. And if you caught our army guide last week, you would know that the Super Giants and the Super Wizards straight up dominated the competition at Capitol Hall level 3. So today we're going to take a look at the most used attack strategies here at Capitol Hall level 4. In our first army, we have Super Giants, Super Wizards, Rocket Balloons, and Supporting Troops. Now what's really interesting about Capital Hall Level 4 and Capital Hall Level 3 is that you're going to see a very similar approach with the use of Sneaky Archers and Rage Barbarians to open up the deployment zone. Now, Gund is going to take down this Capital Peak in exactly two attacks. That's how strong this army really is. He's going to drop his Super Giants backed up by the Super Wizards and a Battle Ram. That battle ram is going to open up the first layer of walls and get the super giants in the base faster. Heal spell dropped, and then he's going to sneak in the rocket balloons to assist his super giants in the destruction of some defenses. However, that capital hall is super powerful. Now, one thing that you might easily overlook about the rocket balloons is that when you drop them, there are in fact two rocket balloons associated with that drop instead of just one like the home village. Now, the rest of this attack is going to be mostly super barbarians and a stray super wizard opening up the deployment. Let's go ahead and play through that real fast. Finishing off the attack at a very solid 53%, Gund is going to come right back in on this village and approach it with the same exact army, dropping the heal spell on top of the Capitol Hall. Super Giants, Super Wizards, Sneaky Archers drop to clear the outside. Here comes our Rocket Balloons taking down the first air defense. They're going to join in the center of this village and take down the Capitol Hall with ease. I mean, that's just incredible, right? I mean, look at that. Those things are so fast. They're super duper fast. The rest of this attack is going to be the Super Giants leading the way for the Super Archers, opening up walls, finding traps, and then on the outside of the base, the Sneaky Archers are just picking up buildings, and he's going to completely steamroll this base without really having to do much of anything that's how strong this army really is now if there's some adjustments to this army let us know down in the comments below what you guys are doing but so far from what i've seen with this one <laughs> I mean, wow, this one's awesome. Over on Wizard Valley, we're going to start out with the same exact army that we showed you last week, but a lot stronger with the new level two Super Wizards. Now, our attacker here, Salson, is going to start out with the Super Barbarians, opening up more deployment zone. And then he's basically just going to spam this entire base using the Super Giants and Super Wizards that are going to walk through this base as if there are no defenses at all. I mean, look at this. <laughs> You know what I mean? But this is not the army that I want to show you. I want to show you the setup. This is the setup for our next army. He's going to get to about, what, 60% of this base cleared? I mean, look how weak the defenses are because of the Super Wizard. Remember that this is a clan event, so if you can set up the next attacker with the army that you're using, even better. Phenomenal. He finishes out with exactly 60%, and then our next attacker, Gund, you're getting way too much attention in this video, <laughs> he's going to come in with our second army, Minions and Rocket Balloons. Now watch how the Rocket Balloons are deployed. This is just crazy. Madness, madness. He's going to drop his heal spell, and he's going to release one, two, three, four, five groups of Rocket Balloons, 
to just basically steamroll this base and take down the defenses. There goes the six on the opposite side where the deployment zone ended. And then he's gonna go ahead and allow those troops to clear out the final building in the air bombs. And here comes the minions for cleanup. Just like a regular Lalo over on the home village, but a lot faster, <laughs> way faster with the assistance of the rocket balloons. So that's just another option. I mean, if you're able to dominate, that's option number two. You know how you unlock something new and you just want to see what those two items do together? Well, that's what our final army has involved here. We got rocket balloons and the skeleton barrels. Now, this base right here is a capital peak and it's already been attacked twice. But Cartoons is going to come in with the same exact army to take this base down. Now, what's really cool about the use of the skeleton barrels is that when you drop it, there are three barrels associated with it, which spawn 24 total skeletons so he comes in on this base with the rocket balloons with the intent to clear out the capitol hall the skeleton barrels are going to arrive on target dropping the skeletons and they're just going to basically chop this thing to bits <laughs> it's just crazy man look at this look at all the skeletons they're going to break outside of the wall they're going to go around the village and go after an air defense on the outside of the village it looks like there are some minions that are picking off the capital houses or the clan houses and there's just so many of those things so many of those things but regardless and it's going to finish out at about 67 percent but cartoon says nah man i'm going to take this thing down and get my bonus attack and that's exactly what he does here he comes in with his minions to start out and then he's going to just straight up spam the rocket balloons and the skeleton barrels he dropped the skeleton barrels to block for the rocket balloons first dropping the heal spell, and they're going to very slowly move through the base, taking down the final defenses in the multi-mortar, the spear thrower, and then over on the far right side, there is a giant hidden Tesla. Let's go ahead and speed it up and send those boys over there to take it down. But back behind them, we got minions that are clearing out the clan houses. I mean, well done, boys. Well done. And if you're playing at Capitol Hall level four, let us know what armies your clan is using down in the comments below. And if you need to see that Capitol Hall 3 Army Guide, click this link right here, and we will see you in the next video.